Gaspeth Amateur Drama Society. What's all that, then? Fannying about in tights? <laughs> no, Derek, we only fanny about in tights when we do Shakespeare. This concerns the annual pantomime. Robust singers required for the chorus. Interested? It sounds boring to me. I'd rather have a cup of tea in front of the telly. Well, of course you would, Derek. That is because you have the soul of an amoeba and the imagination of a pot noodle. <laughs> You'd be bored watching Olivier play Hamlet. Well, I don't like football. <laughs> Especially foreign teams. <laughs> well, each their own. I'm sure you can't sing, anyway. When I gave my karaoke careless whisper on our last holiday, my wife wept. <laughs> Derek, we require thespians, not yobs. You couldn't get a small roll in a bakery, <laughs> let alone justify a place in a major Amdram panto. You just ain't got it, kid. <laughs> Avasti, lovers! <laughs> so how did it go, dear? Treachery? Thy name is Gasforth Amdramsock. Who is going to play Hook? A vast ye <laughs> lovers. Tis Peter Pan and his lost boys come to board me. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen me cry. They were all there. The snooty, snotty, toity, hoity, farty, arty, decaffeinated, <laughs> Fruit flavour, tea bags, semi skimmed cream of gas for they leet. <laughs> Fowler was wearing leg warmers. <laughs> <laughs> no. The bloke stood there looking like a bird at an aerobics class. <laughs> Fanning on about internal motivation, I said, Rubbish, mate. All you have to do is shout. <laughs> and I've got the part. The director said I was clearly a suppressed thespian. Oh, I'd have smacked him in the mouth. <laughs>